Churches are also allowed to reopen their doors as long as worshipers in the pews don't exceed that 25% occupancy limit. But the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston had a tough decision to make. There are nearly 2 million Catholics across the region. So is holding mass even probable? Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live in our newsroom tonight with their solution. Brandon? Hey there, Chris. That solution is to let individual parishes decide what to do. I spoke at length today with Cardinal Daniel DiNardo. The Cardinal tells me he didn't feel it was up to himself to force parishes to reopen because each has its own demands. So some will this weekend while others will continue to stream mass online. Psalms of Solace bring forth hope for tomorrow. Over in the woodlands at St. Anthony of Padua Catholic Church, tomorrow marks a new beginning. Mass in this age of global pandemic is less than 24 hours away. Volunteers taping floors for distance, posting signs for flow. The new normal as some area Catholic churches prepare to reopen their doors. There is a logistical complication in all of this, and rightfully so. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo today on those logistical complications, figuring out if and when to resume mass in person at church. We have to give pastors discretion. I can open it up for, um, uh, for meeting in an assembly of each parish, but the pastor has to decide. St. Anthony of Padua gave it a go. Sunday vigil resumes tomorrow evening at 5, yet some 60-plus miles south in League City, St. Mary Catholic Church has decided to wait a while. The sanitation and the marking of the pews and, and the uh, obtaining of the volunteers is still not in place, so we will continue to have those online services and on our website as well as our Facebook page. Logistics. Cardinal DiNardo's point about letting pastors have their say. That's why showing up is an option. And if you're at risk, especially seniors, the Cardinal says it's best to stay at home. I would prefer that anyone who is in any group that is vulnerable would uh, stay home in this time. And Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, tonight 1.7 million Catholics spread across 10 counties comprise the Archdiocese. The reopening plan also changes how communion is administered. It will be received by hand only. Also, there won't be any wine, which symbolizes the blood of Christ. That for the time being. In the newsroom, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.